What is up, my friends? You are very welcome along to Transfer Deadline Day here on Anfield Agenda. I'm going to do my best to join all the dots and keep you right up to speed before the transfer window slams shut in just under six and a half hours' time. Now, I will, of course, be back tonight at 8.45 for the Late Night Agenda, but until then, we're going to be speaking about Joe Gomez's future, Nat Phillips, Ben Doak, Kate Gordon and a couple of other bits and pieces that you guys need to be aware of before this window slams shut. As always, we're going to want to know your thoughts, so do let us know in the comment section. Drop a like in the video if you enjoy it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get stuck into all of this in just over 60 seconds. Until then, a little word from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by Surfshark, the best VPN on the market. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to change your location to access websites in other countries and keep you safe and secure from hackers. Using Surfshark, we here in Ireland can access other countries' Netflix libraries or other streaming platforms like The Zone in Spain for all those important Premier League games. Surfshark keeps you safe and private by protecting everything you do online. Everything. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is, in a way, blurred out. Surfshark is particularly useful for keeping you safe from being hacked if you use public Wi-Fi. Let's say you're in a cafe, you're at college, you're out and about, they've got you covered. Surfshark allows you to use one subscription on unlimited devices, meaning you can share your account with friends or family or that neighbour who's a little bit cheap. On top of all of this, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can also upgrade to Surfshark 1, which includes the VPN, an alert system for breaches related to your data, such as emails and credit cards, and an antivirus software for your desktop. Our sign-up offer gives you Surfshark VPN for a little over €2 Euro a month. Simply scan the QR code on screen right now, or use the link in the description and enter the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. We are back, my friends, and thank you for your patience. Right, look, what are we going to expect before this transfer window closes tonight? Well, unfortunately, as I sit here right now, frustration is the order of the day. We were speaking last night when we had that beautiful, hopeful one hour about Alan Varela. Then we said that, at the very least, we can't go into this summer's, well, end this summer's window with just four senior centre-backs. Unfortunately, as it stands right now, that is looking very likely. We're about to see Nat Phillips go on loan to Derby County, meaning he's gone and Sepp van der Berg is gone, meaning we have no youngster back up as we sit here. We have four senior centre-backs, one of them potentially injury-prone, one of them very young, one of them we don't really play too much at centre-back, and the other one is our captain, Virgil van Dijk. So as I sit here right now, this window has been an unmitigated failure. We haven't strengthened the centre-back, we haven't strengthened the central midfield, and unless they pull something out of the fire before 11pm tonight, we have been once again hoodwinked in this summer's transfer window. You can talk about the attempt to sign Zuba Mendy, and that is fair, but ultimately it failed and we didn't do our job. We had that brief glimpse of hope last night with Alan Varela, but it turns out that there was nothing to that. So, it's up to you how you guys decide to view this transfer window. I'm going to take you through the next few minutes of the younger players who could be leaving the club or are going to leave the club today. And I'm going to start off with in-demand young winger Ben Doak. Dave OC did report in exclusive that he was going to Hull City. He was wrong. He is going to Middlesbrough on loan. They have won the race for his signature. Shouldn't really jump ahead there with the old. He's doing this exclusive if you're wrong. So Ben Doak is going to Middlesbrough on loan. Uh, again, decent loan for him. I would have liked to have seen him up to the Premier League level to see whether he can cope at the highest level. But if the club deem this is a good move for him that will get him minutes, well, we'll wait and see what happens. It was always likely he was going to depart, particularly with the Federico Chiesa deal. Liverpool have got cover across the front line. So let's hope that Ben Doak has a good season on loan uh, at Middlesbrough and wish him nothing but the best. As I already mentioned, Nat Phillips is going to move to Derby County on loan, which if I'm correct, and I'm working off memory here, I think would see him through to the end of his Liverpool contract. So that will be the end of Nat Phillips' time at Liverpool Football Club. To the best of my knowledge, his contract expires at the end of this season. 
season. Uh, Paul Joyce then just did confirm that Middlesbrough is, of course, the destination for Ben Doak. One transfer that I've mentioned a couple of times and was shot down by people in the chat telling me I was wrong was Jaden Sancho looking to move to our, excuse me, to Chelsea in this window and not Juventus. Everybody had told me the other day it was a done deal to Juventus, and I said. That's not what I'm seeing. That's not what I'm hearing. I think you might see that move last minute to take him to Chelsea. And it does look like that is going to happen. Fabrizio Romano said, Chelsea submit official bid for a Manchester United winger, Jadon Sancho. Understand it's an initial loan proposal, similar to the terms offered by Juventus, but a higher package in total. Sancho is open to the move and joining Chelsea. It's up to United now to the side. So that is one potential big move in this window, albeit not Liverpool related. Arna Slot was speaking about the transfer window and what could still happen before it slams shut tonight at 11pm. He said, I'm not expecting anything today, but if we see an opportunity, we could act. So there is hope there, ladies and gentlemen, but it is just that hope. No concrete links, no here we goes, no Liverpool closing in on a midfielder or a defender. Let's look at this entire summer transfer window with the glasses off. Let's just look at it on its own merits. Did we strengthen the positions we asked about and wanted to strengthen going into the window? No, we didn't. We brought in a good deal for an opportunistic uh, fee for Federico Chiesa. And on its own merit, I think most of us will agree, absolutely worth the risk, absolutely worth the fee and a really good piece of business. But that's only one of the three areas. The two main bones of contention, of course, were central back and central midfield. And we haven't strengthened either one of them. I don't know what you feel yourself personally, and I'm not going to try and tell you how to feel. But for me, this is a three out of 10 window. And then another failure with excuses that will kick the can down the road for the future. I'm fed up with the excuses. I'm fed up of FSG's failures. And whether you think it's Michael Edwards and Richard Hughes who are to blame, whether you think FSG are to blame, or whether you think nobody are to blame, for me, the fish rots from the head and FSG are the owners of this football club and they have managed to get through another transfer window and make a profit let that sit in they're making a profit in this summer's transfer window there is no spinning this for me there is no excuse making that is good enough they have failed us the fans yet again and people have fallen for it all summer people have said don't worry plenty of time you were told crescendo at the end of the window you were told august well here i am transfer deadline day six and a half hours or less than six and a half hours from the window closing and i take absolutely no pleasure in saying this i mean this sincerely but i told you this was going to happen because it's all Always what happens under these owners and people need to wake up and realize that they are cheap that they have no ambition and that this is Liverpool Football Club in the modern age hopeful opportunistic but not putting their best foot forward to try and actually get success Arne Slot could pull that out of the bag, but it's going to be against the odds, not because of what the owners have done. No Brantway, no Inacio, no Antonio Silva, no midfielder, no ambition. That's how I feel right now, my friends. But over to you. I'll be back tonight at 8.45, where we'll talk about this all the way through the stream, of course, giving you guys your chance to have your say. Appreciate your support as always. I do, but I can't sit here and lie to you. I respect you too much. I'm fuming about this summer's transfer window. Talk to you soon.